Oi, tudo bem? Hello guys, how's everything? Our class today is about the stress markers in Portuguese, right? So, we have these little guys here that show where the stress syllable is in Portuguese, right? In a word. So, the first one is chill, chill, this little worm here. The next one is this little roof, okay? Acento circunflexo. This one, this little arrow, agudo, acento agudo. And this one to the opposite side, acento grave. I have uh, some sentences on the whiteboard, let's check them out. Here. Eles são ótimos. Eles são ótimos. They are great. São, são, ok? Increasing, são, alright? Ótimos, acento agudo here. This means, this O is open, not closed, it's not O or O, uh, it's O, O, ótimo, ok? Ela é tão legal, ela é tão legal. She is so cool. So, here's the verb to be, third person, singular, feminine, ela, she is, é, é, again, it's not er or u, é, é, open. Tão, again, just like são, tão, 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 tão means so, to, very, and cool. Tu é grandão. Tu é grandão. Grandão is the uh, augmentative form of grande, big. So, we use usually for masculine words, when you want to make it in the augmentative form, you just add a, o, n, tu on it. Um, um, means very big, someone very big. Could be tall or strong in this case. A vista fica 50 reais. A vista fica 50 reais. Uh, it will be 50 reais cash. A vista. Cash. Acento grave to the opposite side. Elas têm dinheiro. Elas têm dinheiro. Okay? They have money. Uh, they plural in Portuguese, uh, feminine in Portuguese, sorry. Alright, elas. A yes, elas. Tem. This is the verb to have. In the third form plural, uh, it has this acento circunflexo. It's closed. It's different from é. Here is é, is é. Tem. Tem. É. Em. É. Em. Tem. They have money. They have money. Alright, so, uh, now that you know what they mean, whenever you see these accents, these signs, on a word you know that they are open, alright, or closed, like tem, tem means, uh, it's closed, alright, tem, tem, em, okay, you close your mouth, uh, and you know how to pronounce them, okay, it's a good start because you know that when you have acento agudo, it's open, right? Uh, acento grave as well, right? This sound here, um, tão, grandão, uh, it's not that close, not that open, right? And this one is closed, right? Tem, em, 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 right? Next videos. I will keep uh, doing some sentences with these uh, stress markers, okay? Because they appear everywhere in Portuguese, okay? They are a very common sight. So, stay tuned, subscribe. Thank you for watching.